Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn to design an application using Visual Basic to find the greatest of two number. To design an application, just go select the standard.exe and open. This is the main screen in which you are going to select select the controls and place it on the form and design your outlook of your application and start coding it. Now let's do the applications. Drag and adjust the form as your required size. Before controlling this place in the form, we'll change the properties of this form. I'll go to the name and change as greatest. And for caption, I'll change as large. In background color, if you want, you can change it. And I'll change the font size. If I change the font size of the form, I no need to change the uh, size of each and every controls I place in the form. So we'll change in the forms itself. Now I'll place the controls to perform this task. We need three label boxes, three text boxes and three command boxes. We'll place those controls. Drag it and place it as per your requirement. You'll be knowing how to place and where to place and all. According to that you can place it. Label 2 for caption for first number. And label 3 for caption for second number. And three text boxes for entering first value. And second box for entering second value. And the third text box to display the result or the output of the task. Now I'll place three command buttons. Command one for finding the values or calculating the values and command 2 to clear my text box and command 3 for exiting the output screen or a window. We'll change the properties of these controls. Label 1, this is my heading cap label. So I'll change the caption as finding largest number. We'll change in the back of this box. And I'll change the font size because this is my heading so let it be little bigger. Okay, we'll drag this. I'll change the properties for second label. I'm not going to change the name of the labels. I'll change just the captions. First number. And for label 3, the caption is second number. We'll change the text box caption. I'll erase the text so that we can enter the values. And my text box one name is first. And I'll give name for second is as second. 
and I'll erase the text. And my text box third name is result. As I'm going to display the result in the text box three, I'll change it as result. So this result word I will be using in my coding for displaying purpose. I'll change the command button properties. Command button name is find. And my caption is, the caption is used to display the wordings as it is in the box. So I'll give as ampersand find. And command it to, my command button to name is clear. Clear in the text box. And my caption is ampersand clear. And my third command button name I'll give as exit. And my caption is also exist. Ampersand exit. So we'll change, we'll see the outlook of our screen. One second. Start, you can see this is your outlook of your screen. So, three label boxes we have used. The label box, whatever you type in the caption, it will show as it is in the output screen, and you cannot edit the label caption in the output screen. These are the text box you can use to enter the inputs or displaying the result. So my first box is to enter the first value and second is to second value and third is to display my result or a calculated value. And this find command is to calculate the result and this clear command is to clear the values contained in the text boxes. And exit command I am using to exit from this particular output screen. So we will start coding. For coding, double click on this find button. It will let you to the coding screen. So this is your coding window. Now we are going to code in the find click event. Find is my name of the control and click is my event. As it is a command button, if I click that command button, the click event is happening. So we will type code for this. To find greatest of two number, we need to have two variables to hold those two numbers. So we'll declare d a comma b as integer. Enter it. This is my declaration statement to store the values for a variable. Enter. Now we'll assign values for a and b. A equals to my first text box name is first dot txt. Whatever I type in my first text box, it will get stored in the variable A. Enter. Then B equals to second dot txt. As I said for first variable, my second box variable or a values also get stored in the variable B. Enter. So we have assigned values for A and B. We'll give some condition. For giving some condition to find the solution, we have to use the control statements. Here I'm going to use the if then condition to provide my condition. So if A is greater than or equals to B, then I'll print the result in the result that is third text box. My third text box name is result. So open quotation and start typing largest number is close the quotation and give ampersand a here it prints the, the largest number is whatever i give in the first text box that number gets stored in the ampersand a enter else enter result equals to 
largest number is ampersand b. So this is our condition to perform the task. If my value a is bigger than the b, the result is value a. If I give, suppose if I give uh, a value as 10, b value as 5. So it checks the condition whether a is greater than b or what. So now as for my example 10 and 5, 10 is bigger. So largest number is 10. Suppose if I give a value as 5 and b value as 8, it checks the condition but my condition fails. So it goes to the else part and prints the largest number is b that is 8. So finding calculation condition is over. Now we will give coding for clearing the text box. For clearing the text box, now my first text box name is first dot txt equals to empty quotations enter second dot txt equals to empty quotation enter and my result box that is third box dot txt equals to empty quotation enter and I should set the cursor to remain in the first text box for that I am giving as first dot set focus so this is my coding for uh, second command button that is clear back command button and I'll give coding for second that is third command button exit for exiting from the output screen I'll give us end you can give end or unload me you can L O A D and space me you can give. So our coding is over. Now let's check whether any error is coming or what. Execute it. I'll give first number as 4 and my second number as 5. I'll find. So there is an error. Block if without end if. This error means that we have given open the condition that is a control statement but we did not close it so whichever control statement you use you have to close it at the end of your control statements so enter it i'll give us end if condition now we'll execute it so the result is displaying i'll clear the screen as i clear my cursor is clicking here so my focus is set to the text box one for that we are using that set focus event. Again I will type 78 and 34. So if I press find command my result should be like largest number is 78. So now let's check 78. We will check for the B also. Clear it. 56. 89. As you find. The largest number is 89. We'll press exit. If I press exit, it should be exit from the screen. Exit. It's exiting. I hope this video is clear. You can understand the finding largest number program. Thanks for watching. We'll do more other complex programs in our future videos. Until then, bye bye. Take care.